Hey everyone, welcome to Connie's Journey. I started this YouTube channel so that I could share a little bit about my life as a wife, a mom, a business owner, and a patient living with autoimmune illness. In October of 2018, I had life-changing surgery and I'd like to share a little bit about my journey with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Connie's Journey. This is not a typical bag change. I just had my proctectomy surgery two weeks ago and I've developed what's called a seroma right here next to this incision and it has been leaking out the fluid and just about five minutes ago, um, I noticed that my bag and everything was all wet and I went to start cleaning it and then the color of it started darkening and then it just started bleeding. So I'm having to do a bag change because the whole bag was saturated with everything that was coming out. And I wanted to kind of hop on here really quick just to let you guys know if you develop one of these, um, they're non-emergent, except for the fact that now it's changed to bleeding, I'm probably gonna have to call the doctor and let them know. They usually kind of open up and leak on their own for a little while. And that could take like a month or so for it to resolve itself. But if the color and stuff starts to change, the doctor does need to know. Sometimes they actually have to open you back up and then drain the area. The circumference was about the size of a quarter. And they explained to me that even though the circumference is that size, we don't know how deep it goes into my stomach. Anyhow, I hopped on here really quick. I'm gonna do this little bag change and let you guys know not to be alarmed if this happens to you. Just try to keep the area clean as much as possible. So I've already cleaned the area around my stoma. And now of course I'm gonna do as I usually do. I wipe it after I've used the adhesive wipes removal. I wipe it with one of my wet cotton cloths. So that way I know that the, the area around the stoma will adhere to the bag. Because if you still have some of that on you, it will not adhere to the bag. Um, anyways, after my proctectomy surgery, I've been having to change my bag every two days where I was able to get like four to seven days before. So I'm assuming that um, in the next month or two, hopefully that will settle down. It's just because my output changed, the size of my stoma changed, um, the seroma that was leaking started causing me issues. So that was part of my problem. And little Lola here is not the same. She's kind of um, retracted a little bit at the bottom. So I can't really lift her up as much as I used to when I would um, put the stoma powder, you know, all around it. So a couple of changes here that I'm experiencing. You just have to kind of get through it, try not to get overly stressed about it. I think she's gonna wanna output right now, so you might see some fun. And my favorite thing here in the world is this ring. I used to use the Adapt ring, but I absolutely love the Coloplast Brava ring, okay? You guys might wanna try it. It comes in several different sizes. And it is much easier to come off of my skin when I go to clean everything, which I absolutely love. So fits just around just like that. You can see lots of wounds on me from my surgery. She looks much better than she did before. I can tell you that much. Lola was not looking good for a while. And that's it. I've missed you guys. Stay tuned. There's going to be some more uploads.